Derek Craig here from New Day Outdoors Productions. Today I'm going to do a product short on an exciting product from a company called Extreme Blower Products. They're actually out of Northwest Ohio, which isn't far from me here. I'm in Northeast Indiana. And I've seen these online several times. I actually met the owner um, through some acquaintances. And he's like, here, we got to get you set up with one of these. And, and uh, so I basically got a package set up from him and I've been using it on my food plots this year. It's really cool on remote plots. Um, basically what it is, is it's a bin or a hopper here that you're gonna fill with seed. It's got a little adapter cone, so when you pop the top off, you can pour your seed in there and not have it dump everywhere. But it attaches to almost any leaf blower out there. This is obviously a steel, um, but it'll attach to almost every single one of them. Uh, basically what you're gonna do is this has some straps, I'll take this off in a second, but you can dr you drill a hole through the blower tube and then you can mount this to it. And then you got a slide gate here that, that throttles back how much seed you go. So you could do a light seed or a very small seed like say a clover seed or do something big like say a soybean or, or whatever. So uh, wide range and you can do this fairly controlled. We're gonna do a plot today with this. It's about an acre and a half, which arguably, arguably you could do a conventional spreader, but this works really well and makes fast work of it. One of the ways you could do it, if I had some help, is I could jump in the back of this ranger here and basically spray this out while somebody drives this ranger. We could broadcast this whole thing probably in a matter of about three or four minutes, I would bet. Um, we definitely empty the hopper that fast. Maybe we could have to uh, you know, load it several times, but it would not take very long is my point. Uh, one of the cool things about a blower like this is for remote situations. I do a lot of small food plots back in the woods where it's hard to get to. And so I can take this back. Uh, I did one here the other day, basically, where I took this back in. It's about a 30 yard by 20 yard or so food plot. And I killed it off with Roundup a couple weeks before with a backpack pump sprayer. And then I went in here and I broadcast uh, some oats and rape and, and uh, rye. And I think there was some turnips in there. It was kind of just a hand mix of a bunch of stuff. And then I took my weed eater in and I basically leveled everything off and that thatch goes over it and here did that right ahead of a rain so probably in a week or so i'm gonna go back there and find all kinds of shoots uh, sprouting up so they're really great for that stuff they're great in broadcasting out over standing corn fields out over standing bean fields i mean that's a cool thing when that crop dies off that corn plant or that that bean and starts to turn brown and it's not as palatable to those animals uh, you can have some turnips or clover or oats or rye or whatever coming up in there and extend um, those food sources you know, well into the colder months for those animals. So that's kind of our plan today. Again, this basically attaches to any weed or any um, leaf blower type of product. Um, and basically what happens is you get these two rubber straps, these pop on and off. You got a little adapter plate right here with a little scoop where the as the air goes by, your, your seed basically falls into the airstream. You got yourself a slide gate here that opens and closes and all that. Um, basically, you're just gonna drill a hole into your, uh, into your blower tube. That's basically it. This basically mounts to it. And it's about as simple as you can get. And again, you just, these uh, rubber straps basically hold it in place. Um, so that's pretty much it. We're gonna put down today. It's hot. I'm sweating horribly and there's like these little bee things flying all around. But uh, we're gonna put down some oats and some rye and uh, some clover on this plot. This is typically a clover plot for me. So I'm gonna use the oats and rye kind of as a nurse crop to get this thing going. So that's it. Um, I'm gonna cut some footage of putting this stuff down and then we'll kind of do a little summary, but Extreme Blower Cedar from Extreme Blower Products uh, right here in Northwest Ohio. So hang tight, we're gonna spread some seed and I'm just gonna sit here and keep sweating. So it's hot today. I'm gonna load this hopper up with a bunch of rye and I'm gonna do it with some oats, I'm gonna do it with some clover. So I'll just show you on the one, but basically I'm gonna be out here doing this. It won't take very long to do this whole thing. So I'm gonna fill this hopper up Obviously, it's not going to hold this big bag, but you got this little funnel here, so I shouldn't make too bad of a mess. Seal it up, start it up, and we'll be good to go.
find is pretty cool. This plot's about 40 yards across width. If I walk down the middle of it, I can spray completely from side to side in one pass. Check this out. This is the other cool application, it's overseeding into a standing crop field. So this is a thin area and some corn. I have a box blind over here we hunt out of some time. I got some stands uh, back in the woods, but this is kind of thin and I'm gonna basically spray all this with rye and oats, what I had left over from up front. And I'm gonna spray this thin area and out into the corn. So, I mean, this just goes really fast. So here we go. There you go, I just put down, I'm guessing, five pounds or so of oats, relit and do rye, but anyway, you see how simple it is. A little slide gate, controls your flow. Um, I wanted to get this place uh, here pretty heavy because I don't know how well it's gonna come up, but you can grow rye, rye and oats on almost concrete. So I guess in summary, man, Extreme Blower Products, Extreme Blower Spreader is the name of the actual product. Uh, it mounts to almost any leaf blower. Um, these steels are nice, uh, but anyway, get one. They're great for these remote uh, food plots. They're great if you don't have tractors or four wheelers or access to big spreader equipment or planters. These things are awesome. I mean, I'm working up a sweat, but it's not hard work. It's just, it's hot out and I'm walking around doing this. So that's it. Um, again, Extreme Blower Spreader from Extreme Blower Products, Northwest Ohio. Great dude that owns the company. So great product, get them. God bless you all this fall when you're deer hunting. Wear a harness when you're in a tree stand. Be safe.